Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today I have a candle haul video and I started off 2019 strong and I said, girl, you're not going to buy any more candles because you got too many candles. And then I had bought six candles maybe um, by the end of January or maybe the end of February a combination of some Yankees and from Target and now I just feel like I fell off of my my resolution and I usually don't make resolutions and this is why because I break them this is why I make goals so anyway I ended up having candles that I purchased from three different places um, I don't know what that is but I bought two online orders one is from Goose Creek, the other is from Kringle, and then I bought some candles at Pier 1. Now, I'm going to be honest, the Goose Creek and the Kringle candles were stress purchases. I don't know about you, but something stressful happens in my life, like really stressful. I either internalize the stress until I get physically sick, which has happened, or I shop it all away shop the pain away and in this case I shopped the pain away by going candle shopping online so just so happened that Goose Creek and Kringle were holding promotions now I'm gonna be honest I forget which one was which I believe Goose Creek was probably doing like 20% off and Kringle which never goes on sale was having a buy one get one if I have that correct otherwise I had those promotions swapped and one with Goose Creek might have been buy one get one. But I'm pretty sure it was Goose Creek 20% off, Kringle buy one get one. <laughs> and so I made my purchases, I have them here, and then also with Pier 1, Pier 1 is having a promotion, two three wick candles for $20. You could buy one at $16.95 or buy that second one for $4, you know, more. So I'm going to share my candles with you. I'm pretty excited. I'm really going to tell myself, girl, don't buy any more candles. Just buy the candle, or just burn the candles that you have and enjoy them. So first off, I want to show my Goose Creek candles. Now I've only made one other Goose Creek purchase in my life. And I had bought one of their candles and a whole bunch of wax melts. Now the candle I had before was lemon vanilla pound cake batter. I think that's what it was. It was phenomenal it was so deliciously smelling it just ugh, it was everything and I loved it it burned great I had it it's gone ugh, the wax melts are kind of crap I don't recommend Goose Creek wax melts but I didn't buy wax melts so I'm all good so I took some notes from their website about the notes that are in each of the candles so first I have one of their new, I believe it's one of their new Easter releases, and this is Splish Splash. Now, Goose Creek candles look like Yankee because they are um, 24 ounce candles, and they do burn up to a suggested, I believe, 150 hours, kind of like Yankee, but the thing is, is that they are two wick candles, if you can see that, which means it's going to pull out faster and um, you're gonna get stronger scent earlier in your candle burn and it's also going to help make it burn more evenly which for me I'm all about that even wax pool there's something like really appealing about an even wax pool you know when you have Yankees sometimes it's not going to be even and there might be wax on the side and it's just no bueno so I'm very excited about the two wicks so anyway this is splish splash we have this little kid jumping on a puddle and it says the top notes are pomelo and mandarin the mid notes are exotic mango and passion fruit and the base notes are coconut water and coastal waters and it's to me it's a very it is a very water watery scent it is very reminiscent of anything that has rain in the title it's just like that fresh clean water scent so i am excited to burn this next is another easter release and it is bunny cupcakes and this has the top notes of coconut, strawberry, and lemon, mid notes of warm honey and soft maple, and the base notes of vanilla cake and caramel drizzle. Mm, and I definitely smell the caramel. I definitely get a little bit of the coconut. 
oh, it's so nice. And I definitely will be burning this probably, I say definite and probably in the same sentence. I'm going to be burning this in April, definitely. <sighs> Next, I have what is the best candle, I think, out of all of the candles that I have in front of me. Oh, this candle is life. It is peanut butter sugar. This is one of, uh, on their website, a very highly rated candle. It's one of their best sellers. And there's a reason. Because this, oh, this smells like heaven. It smells so freaking good. So this has top notes of fluffy marshmallow peanut butter blend, mid notes of vanilla bean and warm butter, and base notes of vanilla dipped waffle cones. Oh, oh my god. I want to be surrounded in this scent all of the time, every day. It's just, it's peanut butter, but it's not heavy peanut butter. It's just like, it's just a delightful, just comforting, desserty, but not gonna kill you with diabetes type of smell. I'm really excited for this one. The last candle I have from Goose Creek is vanilla, or excuse me, rainbow sugar. As you can tell, I'm all about those sugary scents. And this one, <sighs> So good. Not as good as peanut butter sugar, but still pretty good. It's almost slightly like body care esque, kind of something like Bath and Body Works would sell, but just like with the fruit, it's it's not quite there. But the top notes are frozen strawberries and like iced lemon. Mid notes are juicy raspberry and pink pomelo, and then the base notes are spun sugar and vanilla. So. This is very sweet. It's very. If this was a, this could be easily a perfume, honestly, for um, a more feminine side perfume, and it'd be totally right up my alley of something that I wear all the time. So next, I have some Kringles that I bought. Now I was pretty excited. I was getting ready for work. I was looking on my phone, looking on my YouTube subscription list, and. I don't watch his videos often, but I do subscribe to a candle channel here on YouTube called The Philly Candleman, which I also live in the Philly area, um, but I'm not the Philly candle girl. So he buys and he burns a lot of candles, and that is primarily what his channel is about. But the thing that caught my eye and made me watch that particular video on the day that I bought these is because he was talking about a Kringle sale and Kringle rarely goes on sale. They are expensive and they're not sold in many stores locally to where I live. Now I have gone to their flagship store in Massachusetts when I went on my candle pilgrimage back in 2017 and they do have amazing smelling candles and I have burned and talked about some of them on my channel previously. But I've never, I take that back. I did make an online order a while ago for Daylights, but I haven't really repurchased any Kringle candles or their other candle line, which is Country Candles, in a while. So I said in the beginning of the video, I don't remember if this was a buy one, get one, or 20% off. I think these were buy one, get one. So, yeah. It's been a couple weeks, and I've had these in a box. So the first one that I got was grapefruit ginger. I have never, before I bought this, I didn't smell it. I kind of just went over the notes. I was looking for something that I could burn in the summer, something very citrusy, very light, very just refreshing. And I saw this on the website, and I thought I would give this a go. So this is a top note of ginger, and these are also wick candles. So these are top notes of ginger and grapefruit flower, a mid note of citrus and floral, and base of fruit and musk. So their descriptions seem to be a little more broad than Goose Creek. And this is a very, the grapefruit is strong on this one. It is very eye-opening. If you're not a fan of the grapefruit scent, you would probably want to stay away from this candle. But if you like that bright citrus with just a little bit of warmth, um, from the ginger, a little bit of spice from the ginger, I think you would might like this. The next candle I have, I actually burned in their Kringle collection, but now I bought this in the Country Candle, which 
I should step back and say the Kringle candle that is their premier line that is their luxury their Lexus if you will um, of their candles they also offer certain scents in the country candle line country candle is more homey kind of more comforting maybe your I don't know Ford focus of candles and um, they're kind of reminiscent of Yankee which another step back Kringle was created by I believe his name was Mick Kitteridge who is the son of Michael Kitteridge who created Yankee and so Michael Kitteridge was the leader of the Yankee until he sold it to a bigger corporation his son I believe in 2012 decided to use their original family recipe to create his own candles in the Kringle line and then eventually they started and they branched out and made the country line so this is gray I have burned this before in the Kringle version um, and this I mean I don't know if this was obviously maybe a play off of a uh, 50 shades of gray or something I'm not sure but this uh, it's it's one of those like musky baby powdery scents um, this has top notes of amber and cedar wood mid notes of lemongrass musk and patchouli and base notes of sandalwood and vanilla and I mean I get all of it I get the patchouli I get that like musk and amber and it's kind of like a warm but warm comforting scent and I really like this the next candle I have from Kringle is actually a repurchase now I had it in a smaller size and I went ahead and I bought it in the larger size now this is in the Kringle version as you can tell so you can see the difference these are pillars Kringle candles are always all white paraffin whereas you have the country which is in a jar like this um, it usually has colored wax. Now if I bought this gray in the Kringle, it would be white wax. Whereas when I bought the gray in this, obviously they have it in gray wax. So this is the watercolors, which like I said a few minutes ago, I did burn this before in a smaller size. Um, and this is their 14.5 um, ounce. And Oh, this is a two wick. I don't, yeah, you can see it right there. But this has the top notes of apple, citrus, and currants. A mid note of jasmine, musk, and rose. And base notes of sandalwood, sparkling strawberry, and sweet pea. It's just, it's fruity, but it's, it's, it's not hardcore like farm stand fruit. It's more sophisticated and just, I really enjoy this and so I did repurchase it and it's a beautiful candle it's also a great potential murder weapon this thing is heavy but I really like this candle this last candle that I have from Kringle is also a repurchase but I had this in a daylight and I really liked it I think the reason why I got it in the small size honestly is because they did not have it in a larger size and this is comfy sweater now this is a 4.5 ounce and because this is a smaller candle it's just a one wick this is a top note of amber and cedar wood this is mid of lemongrass and musk base notes of patchouli sandalwood and vanilla and what's interesting is that this candle and gray have the same scent notes but the only difference is in gray patchouli is part of the mid and in this candle, patchouli has been moved down to the base. Other than that, the base, the set of the scent notes are exactly the same, yet they smell different. Like they do have that same scent. Like you could tell they're from the same family of scents, but they're definitely unique in that way. And I think it's very fascinating that by playing around with having notes, you know, particularly like from the mid to the base and vice versa. <laughs> you know it's going to give you a different scent profile and I think that's really cool I didn't know that at the time that I bought it but it makes sense because I have burned both of these candles before I really enjoy it so it makes sense that it's just kind of like that scent profile that I really enjoy um, but yet they're unique enough that they're kind of their own and they stand on their own leg 
The last candles that I have here are actually from Pier One. Now, I don't shop at Pier One very often, although I think that is going to change. So, we all know, let's be real, if we're candle burners and we're watching each other's candle videos, we all know that Bath & Body Works is a very decisive candle company. Some people are ride and die Bath & Body Works candle people, and other people are like, you know what? They've been kind of pulling this crap with the wicks and, you know, the, the wax. It just gets gray and murky, you know, and smells like kerosene for too long. And so I'm in that camp. I don't like their three wicks. I've said it multiple times on my channel. I prefer, if I'm going to buy a Bath & Body Works candle, I'm going to buy a one wick. That's not what this video is about. But I have been seeing people talk about, especially Tina Delicious who he is like, excuse me, he is an OG Bath and Body Works candle person on YouTube that I know of. Um, you know, I'm a Yankee fan and then I kind of got into the Bath and Body Works um, by mistake because it was like, I, I didn't like them, but then I kept seeing people talk about them. And he is just like one of those people who really knows his stuff. Um, he really knows his stuff and um, he tells it honestly as he sees it which I appreciate um, and you know when I see him disillusioned with Bath and Body Works and I'm just a casual Bath and Body Workers uh, Bath and Body Workers um, but you know I'm just like okay you know it's a problem and I don't want to spend my money on those candles and also they're getting more expensive they've raised the prices of them and it just people are buying them still but if we keep buying candles that are expensive but are crap, the company doesn't have any motivation to change their product. So that little soapbox moment is over. Um, he and a bunch of other people that I follow on Instagram have been showing Pure One and they've been talking about Pure One candles. I didn't really know that Pure One sold candles because I get intimidated by Pure One because I feel like I'm not fancy enough to shop at Pier 1. I don't live in a cute enough house to shop at Pier 1, at least for myself. I have a couple Pier 1 things. Um, but now I'm like, I went in yesterday. I was like, that's adorable. That's adorable. It's a little expensive, but that's adorable. And they're currently having a two for 20 on the three wicks. So the three wicks, some people are saying, are they like Bath & Body Works candles? Are they just as good? Are they better quality? So I went and um, I bought two for 20 and then I saw some things that I really liked there. And so today I went to a different Bath & Body Works, oh, Pier 1, um, by my house because I wanted to buy um, some really cute Easter things that I saw. And then I bought two more candles because I can't help myself and that's a problem. So, first candle I have is this Sunset Citrus, and these are 13.9 candles, and they, they burn an average of 30 hours, and I'm really digging the colored glass, but this has a top note, and it's just white. Oh, it smells so good. This smells like sherbet to me. If you were a fan of, like, orange sherbet, I'm just going to say that's what this smells like. But this has a top note of grapefruit, tangerine, black currant, mid notes of raspberry and vanilla, and a base note of sandalwood. Whoops. There you go. The next I have is a modern rose, and it comes like this. It has a candle like this. Um, oh, it smells so good. This has top notes of sea salt, tangerines, and bergamot, and pineapple, just a hint. Mid notes of damask rose, violet, jasmine, and Indian lotus, and base notes of sandalwood, amber, vanilla, cedar, and musk. So I am excited to burn this. I don't know why I keep saying that because obviously I'm excited for every single candle that I have. The next I bought today, and this is more reminiscent of the Bath and Body Works candles. This is 14 ounces, and this has a burn time of 25 hours, so it's just a tad bit smaller tad bit shorter uh, burn time um, but this is from I believe the new herb collection that they currently have and this is fresh cut coriander which coriander and cilantro are the same thing I'm actually obsessed with cilantro I love it I know 
cilantro is a very decisive thing. People hate it and think it tastes like soap, or they're like me, and I'm like, can we, can you put some more cilantro? Just, okay, a little bit, oh, okay, maybe. If you just want to put a little bit more, I won't judge you. You know, it's just between us. So I'm all about that cilantro life. But anyway, this has a top note of lemongrass, grapefruit, rhubarb, and orange. Mid notes of ivy, coriander, spearmint, which, <sighs> spearmint and I, I can't, I don't like spearmint. I can't really eat spearmint. A spearmint usually gives me headaches, but I can smell it a little bit in this, but it's not at least on cold to the point where I'm like, um, and cardamom. And then a base note of oakmont, cedar, musk, and sandalwood. And I basically got this because it's not often that I see a coriander slash cilantro candle and basically because I love to digest you know cilantro I thought maybe my nose would just like to smell it so that's why I got this one and the last candle that I have today is blackberry sangria and it's in this packaging and it looks like this this is the only candle out of all of the candles that I showed today that did not have a breakdown of the notes so it just has berries peaches lemons apricot nectar rum and sugar cane Oh, it smells so good. This is also another one that could kind of go body care-esque, like a, a bath and body works type of lotion, but I don't care. It smells really good. So with that, those are all the candles that I hauled within the last month. I'm going to try really, really hard, and try really, really hard, really, really hard to not buy any more candles. I have a lot of candles. I, and I am constantly getting busier in my life and so I can only burn candles when I'm home so now it's like I'm getting more candles and I'm home less home space less not homeless I have a home um, so I don't get to burn them as much as often or as fast as I enjoy them so I really 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 need to stop please just put in the comments to stop I ask people when I'm with them, should I buy these candles? And some people are like, you don't need it, you're good. And then other people are like, live your best life, do you? And I'm like, yay! <laughs> so, um, first part of having a problem is recognizing that you have a problem, and I have a problem with buying candles. So, that's my video. If you liked this video or found any of it helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye!